Hello guys, it's Lay. <laughs> Ow, did you hear that voice break? Hello guys, it's Lay. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Um, as you can tell, the lighting isn't perfect on this. I tried to set up the green screen. Um, it might not actually be green screened. Like there's light rays and stuff. Um, I don't really have time to set this up. So I wanted to get into this game. Really bad to get out today. It came out the day that I was in London, which is horrible. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh god, spring trap. Spring trap, you're so scary. Look at it, it's all very new. All very new. Low game. Uh, a new game. We've got a new game. There we go. Fast Bear's Fright, the horror attraction. Luckily, the music part is getting ready to scare the socks off with this new attraction based on this unsolved mystery of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Featuring actual. Uh, okay. I don't know what this is about. I oh, know, he's gonna talk, he's gonna talk. Unseal the vent. What? I don't know how to unseal the vent. Okay, right. What I got from that is that we're actually not in the horror attraction. We're not a customer. We actually are like the actual security guard in there. And all these heads are here because they're just collecting them and they're going to put them up somewhere. Look, they've already got the old heads around, and currently it's just scary props in, like, a weird room thing. He said, oh, don't keep the ventilation running, I'll go a little bit mad. Basically. How do I unseal a vent? I don't want to seal this one, then get sealed in. Well, nothing really happens in the first night, anyway. God damn, Scott's a genius. Actually, don't I go to a ventilation? This might be it. Oh my god. I'm already like tense as all hell. What? What did that do? Oh. We made it to 6am anyway. It's yeah! going all out with the different colours this time, didn't he? <laughs> oh 
Oh! This is when our story gets in. I'm gonna go left. There's like a singular drop of rain for some reason. So we're in. Okay, yep, yeah, okay, so we're in the second. We're in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 area. Follow me. Oh, it's Purple Freddy. It's Purple Freddy, Purple Guy. There's a Purple Freddy? That way that that scared me. Purple guy killed me. Wait, I was one of the children. That explains everything. Hey man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could, like, have them playing, like, over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes it feel legit, man. Hi. But I have an even better surprise for you. If you're not gonna How believe am I this, playing the scary we found now. one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome oh. to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For each of operations, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound keys. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Brady Fazbear. I didn't listen to anything he said. Where the hell is Springtrap? What the hell is going on? I gotta open the vents again. What is that noise? Reset the cameras, reset the camera. No, 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 it wasn't that, was it? It was reset the, 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 the ventilation. Anyway, as I said, everything makes sense now. Because basically, I think the kids were dressing up as thingy. And then like a purple Freddy came along and was like, follow me. And they were like, okay, sounds chill. Um... What keeps happening? Gave that jump scare. Okay, I'm gonna talk for a minute. Um, spring trap, you're so creepy. Right. So, do you know when we were Freddy and we were walking along and we followed Purple in, and then all of a sudden he was like, I guess he got locked. I guess he was like, follow me, and then you followed him, and he closes the door, and you're like, what? And then out comes Purple Guy and kills you. Correct. I think the little kids 
were in the outfit. They were dressed up as Freddy Fazbear, messing around. Maybe it was like a day thing, like, today you'll dress up. And it was like, yay! And then he kills them, and because they're already in there, they, their dead bodies got up. I don't know, it's a theory that I already have. This is amazing, this is amazing, Scott. No one theorised that this was happening, no one theorised that it was like a couple days before opening. So it was talking about a room that hadn't been... He was like, I was talking to the guy and he was like, apparently there's a room that's boarded up somewhere. I think that's where spring traps come from. But what about... What about Balloon Boy? Why was Balloon Boy all messed up? What the hell does that mean? What's with Balloon Boy all... I mean, we knew the Balloon Boy was messed up, the teaser came out. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to talk more about this on mornings. If you want to go see me more talk about theories and stuff, I'll go do it on today's morning show. It'll be day, day 12 today, I think. So anyway, and also tomorrow, there'll be another episode of this, and we'll probably do way more nights, and it'll all be fun but I want to get us on today, so you guys can know what's going on today. But anyway, that's me done for today. So now, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.